Hi everybody, how is it going? Um, these are uncertain times right now and I've got lots of messages of people asking for a bit of help with some of their studies. A lot of a lot of colleges are obviously sending some studies home. I thought I'd, I might start creating some smaller, shorter videos just to try and help because I don't think I have a lot of support for apprentices and level ones, level two learners. And I want to want to start putting a lot more out there really because a lot of my stuff is, I guess, I guess for level three and pushing forwards. So this question was sent to me on Facebook. Um, you know, Spark Ninja Facebook page is one of the ways you can communicate with me. And this guy's had a vault drop question. And what's happened is obviously we understand the vault drop formula, but what's happened is they've been clever and they've just used algebra to change it up a little bit and it's created a scenario. And this guy wasn't sure where to go with this. So just says, hi, I've been watching some of your videos and they are great. Thank you very much. Um, learning a lot as I'm my only apprentice, so very helpful. Again, I do want to make sure I can get some more apprentice support on this channel. I'm looking online, but I can't seem to find any help, so I've come to you. I'm working on a vault drop on equations. I can work out the vault drop easily, so he knows the vault drop formula. But I'm on a question where it's asking me to work out the length. How do I transpose the equation to find the length? The question is, and this is the question, to calculate the length of a 1.5mm sheath flat copper cable. That's important. Okay, they're supplying a light circuit with a volt drop of 6.6 .6 volts and a load of 1380 watts. So, a couple of key things that we can take from this. The first, um, I'm just going to try to write this as I go. The first is knowing what the volt drop formula is initially, just, just in case you're not too familiar with that. So, that is volt drop is equal to the millivolt per amp per meter value multiplied by the design current, multiplied by the length over a thousand, which gets us from the millivolts to volts. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. If you're not sure of that, then you really need to go there first, because that is what they're messing around and playing about here. So what information have we got from the scenario? Well, we were told it was a 1.5 mil flat. Now that is there to get us this, because we were told We've got no knowledge of the length. We've got no knowledge of the IB. And we also don't know the, the millivolt value. You know, so they've been very, very helpful here. So how do we get all this stuff? Let's start with IB. IB is equal to power over volts. And we've been told 1380. Now we've not been told the voltage, but it has been described to be a light circuit. So we're going to make an assumption of 230 volts here. And I love it when we have to assume because they don't give us the precise information. But let's just assume the same 230 volts gives us 6 amp. So IB is now 6 amp. To get the millivolt per amp per meter value here, we need to go to PS7671 and we need to go because it says it's a flat profile cable flat cable table 4D5 table 4D5 this is uh, page 409 just in case you're in, this is the 18th edition so 1.5 millimeter flat profile cable and you can see the volt drop column I know this is sideways the volt drop per meter column is 29 so the value for volt drop in millivolts is 29, and we can then move forward with that. We can bring that over here. Okay. 29. Now we've got some information. Now we can start working things out. But first, <laughs> the question's asking you what's length? So this is where it talks about transposition of the formula. So what you need to remember with that is take the thing that you want to take, the length here, and everything else the other side of that, you need to bring this way, flipping it around. So the volt drop is over there. It's already on the other side of the equals. So in this case, length is equal to, the volt drop is always already over that side, volt drop. Now, millivolts per amp per meter times IB is multiplied by the length. So we're actually going to divide that and 
And then we need to divide by a thousand, so we're going to multiply that like this. Okay? Uh, and let's rewrite that. We know the volt drop from the scenario given was, and let's just go back there just to clarify this. Okay, 6.6 .6 volts, you can see that. The volt drop is 6.6 .6 volts on the load at 1380 watts. So 6.6 .6 volts. So the load at length is equal to 6.6 .6 over the 29 value times the 6 amp. And we crunch that into a formula times a thousand. Okay, now you can do this in a number of ways. Um, I normally would use a calculator, scientific calculator. I'll put it into brackets and I'll do it all that way. But let's try to just keep it nice and simple. Let's pop a calculator up. Where's my calculator? There's my calculator. And what we've got here is 29 times 6. 6.6 .6 over that. And I'm just going to do it the, the, the easy way. So 29 times 6. 174, 6.6 .6 over 174, 6.6 .6 over 174 equals, and don't forget this times by a thousand here, times by a thousand equals, so that's 37.93. Let's, let's make that 38, so that's 38. Move that out of the way for now. So we're going to say this here, put my pen back equals 38 meters okay simple transposition and working out this number now if you're not sure though if your transposition is correct now we've calculated a actual length we can go back to this original formula here and check it because technically this should say that 6.6 .6, because that's the fault drop that we had should be resulted from this number including 38 there so the vault drop is equal to the millivolt per amp per meter, which was 29, times the IB, which was 6 from P over V, times the length, which we now calculate it, that we assume it to be 38 meters, over a thousand. And we want to see 6.6, .6, and if that's correct, then our transposition has been successful. Whenever you get to transposition, it can sometimes confuse you because of the whole change in the way it behaves over the equal sign. Whenever you've done transposition and you think you've got an answer, take that answer and go back to the original formula to see if you've actually got it correct. Because always check your work. Otherwise, you know, you, you may get it wrong and you won't know. So you to get to know you've got it right, go back to the original formula and see if it's correct. So 29 millivolts times 6 amps times 38 meters is our estimate. So let's clear this. 29 millivolts times 6 amps times 38 meters over 1,000. 6.612. And that is the volt drop that we have. Okay? So it's a simple little short video just to help you understand how to transpose a volt drop formula. You'll find that colleges will give you these tools because they're good at getting you to understand transposition. And some of your exams will have a little play on this. Um, it's part of the fun. Part of the fun. All right. If you have any more question scenarios, I'm looking at one right now with scale rule for volt, uh, for um, power factor. Any scenarios or anything, and you want me to do a little video on it, I'll see what I can do. Just send messages through social media, Facebook, or comment on this one. Comment on this one. Okay, guys. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers. Bye-bye now.